Well, hey there, Brewberries. What's up? And welcome to another episode of the Brewery. And I'm excited. You want to know why I'm excited? Because we built this beautiful scene right over there. Oh my goodness, look how gorgy it is. Uh, so I have uh, not really done anything between this episode and last. Uh, primarily because, okay, firstly, I think I need to drop this down. 24 is a little bit much for my system to be able to load things properly. But uh, we built those guys, our storage system, and um, I haven't done anything yet with them. Also, I haven't messed really that much with. I haven't really played uh, Minecraft in a couple days. And uh, so today... What we're going to be doing is building up a third one of these over here. We mentioned this in the last episode near the tail end, but for any of you who did not see it, what I want to do is to clear a little bit of space roughly over here so we can build that small guy again, but I want to make it into an enchanting station and I want to get a little bit more geared up. And so that is going to require us to do some different things. So firstly, what I want to do prior to any of that, or at least between now and finding proper resources, is I want to finish this guy. This is our valuables storage area that I'm going to just put some chests here uh, along the walls here. And then I want to uh, just make it so that all our valuables are able to be stored here properly. And then I want to make this area look a little bit nicer. Nothing too crazy. We're not going to be looking uh, nearly as much at, at the inside of that one as we are on this one. That's why I went a little bit more gung-ho in here. Look how gorgy it is. Isn't it great? I love it. Um, I haven't done any also organizing and stuff. Don't have enough necessarily to try to organize it quite yet. So uh, we'll be doing that kind of as we go. Um, but we definitely need some of this here limestone. Um, and I want to, to finish this guy out firstly. And then we're going to go hunting for some diamonds. Now, um, in the very first episode, we already had found diamonds, um, but we have not done that. I uh, have not actually really done that much strip mining and stuff in this episode or in this in this world type. Uh, so we're going to have to do that. But right now, I think my primary focus is get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then we'll get on into finding some diamonds. All right, got this one all done and dusted now. Got a little bit of a dirt way that's going to become grass, and this will kind of all be nice and beautiful grass. And uh, now this is all, all it's going to be. So ceiling and stuff is done. Similar thing as to what we've got the other one, uh, but just smaller with braziers and all that sort of jazz. Um, and I think this is kind of what I'm going to do. I've just gone ahead and put took three of them from over yonder, uh, the item frames that are that those things right there. And we're just going to hang them uh, based on that uh, stair and then kind of just do like a broad category type thing. Um, this is probably way too much storage for valuables. Um, but eventually, I would imagine we could maybe make an iron farm or something to where one of these entire like rows is all iron. But for right now, what I think I'm going to do is just make this like primary valuables where it's going to be just like diet like descending order or something where it's like diamonds gold iron copper etc etc uh, and then we'll kind of go from there and then we may do more miscellaneous based stuff like the flower pot and our like flower pots and things like that not really sure not just really not totally sure um but that is something we can figure out next time that we're like actually sorting things out i'll probably do it on my own time but uh, next thing I would like to do is get all the crap out of my inventory, and then I'd like to go and do some mining. Um, and just so you know, we're going to be doing some building on camera today. So for any of you who are wanting on camera building, it's happening and we're going to be doing it because I can show you how I kind of went about making this guy right here since I've already done it once. And uh, so that will be, yeah, be something. If you want more on camera building, do let me know because um, last episode, the only real real reason why I didn't do any was because I was doing all of that and all of this. So it was just a lot to do for one episode. So I just kind of like went gangbusters on it and decided to go for it. Uh, so 
that is kind of the reasoning why. But today we're going to be doing on camera building. Now, let's go get ourselves some diamonds. All right, so some of these ores, I'm not really sure uh, what they are. So we're going to see what this is. Is this lapis? Yes. OK, so lapis is this kind of crazy blue. Doesn't seem like from the map. I don't. Oh, is that diamonds? What's going on? Oh, that's water. I was like, what is happening? Okay, so there's not really any bad guys around us, from what I can tell. But uh, it's looking like we found diamonds. I mean, if this isn't diamonds, I don't know what is. Boom. Diamonds, baby. And is it an eight or? Oh, glorious. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, stop that. Thank you. Beautiful. Eight diamonds, baby. Now, let's see real quick. Uh, enchanting station. How many diamonds do you require? Just four? Two. Oh, girl. We... We've got enough to be able to do what a pickaxe. Let's leave, leave two. So a pickaxe and an axe or a pickaxe and a shovel. Wow. OK, we're going to try and find a few more diamonds. But that's exciting. That is exciting. Diamonds under the sea. Right? Yeah. Yep. Only one, which is fine. Oh, gosh, they see me. Well, look at there. More diamonds. Now, is this dangerous over here? Well, it's dangerous because there's lava, but other than that, I don't think so. Let's do that. And relight that. Okay. Ah, even more diamonds. Any more? Don't think so. Well, fine. Okay, 15 diamonds, not a bad starting spot. So we've got the two for the enchanting table itself. And then we have three for a pickaxe, three for another pickaxe, one for a shovel, three for what's it called? Uh, a doohickey, an axe. And then we have three left over if we want to make a sword or if we don't want to make a sword, we can make a hoe, whatever. Uh, we can really make some spare tools that way. So, or I guess... We could make uh, uh nope we can't make any armor so that's fine but i don't really care uh we don't necessarily need the armor as badly so let's go ahead and head on back and start making our enchanting area All right, my pickaxe just broke, so uh, we're we're going to do it. We're going to make the diamond pick. I already got my diamonds. Totally forgot about that. We're going to make it. We're going to make our tools for today. All right. Oh, this is a stone cutter. I always get it confused. All right. Pick axe. Boom, baby. And because we found one of those nether portals over by the village, we can actually go ahead and make our enchanting table. Boom, baby. Nice. I'm excited because we now have the ability to enchant and we're very close to level 30, which is really quite exciting. And there's villagers down there so we can make a mending villager easy peasy. As you can see, I've been uh, clearing out this area here. This is how big we need the build to be, but the build itself is actually not that big. Uh, how, how wide is this? Like 11 by 11, I believe. So it's a little smaller than that actual rectangle. I believe, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Indeed. So it's 11 by 11 and then a little bit out in the front, which is fine because we can adjust this area right here a little bit. But uh, I wanted to go ahead, one, to make the pickaxe because I want to go ahead and, uh, 
plop this guy down. Boom, right there. That is a nice texture. I really like the little drapage and stuff. That's really good. And the uh, higher resolution textures for the book is nice because you can actually have like little word lines. That's nice. I really dig that. So we're going to go ahead and actually lay this down now um, because... Oh, that's not where. What a waste of wood. Um, because I want to go ahead and do this because uh, we're going to see how many books we actually, bookshelves we need. Uh, I believe we just do this, that, and then we need two more, right? Yeah, 26. So we need two more. Boom. Level 30, unbreaking three. Fortune one there. Not bad. So that's exciting. Now, I don't have enough to do all of the build right now. Really, actually, I don't have hardly enough. But I thought I would show you kind of the basics to making out the basic shape first, and then we'll get into the actual, like, detail-oriented stuff thereafter, because I have this kind of templatized now. So, uh, this 13 by 13 squares, this larger one, and this is more for the ground area surrounding. I wanted to be able to have like two blocks worth of ground, one to two blocks worth of ground um, in front of this before like before we like actually have the build start. So for the front here, it comes out a little bit more uh, because we did a little extra design. So we'll work out the front a little bit, but if we come to the center here and we go out to right here, the sides here actually pop out like so by two as you can see right there so those pop out by two and we will be using chiseled blocks uh for them but for now we're going to mark it with stone bricks and so for since we're not going to actually have the entrance uh we're going to just go ahead and i guess we only had two so we're gonna have two here and then one and then this will be two there but for now this will be good so the next thing that you want to do is based on wherever the ground's going to be each level of these each sort of section going up goes up by three so as you can imagine that is three tall then we go in diagonally by one and we go up by three as well so that's what we will do right here so we'll go up and this one will be three tall and the same over here and then the next level will actually be all the stone brick based stuff so we're going to hold off on that so this is the general kind of premise for building this is it's really very very simple it's just building squares on top of each other that are getting progressively smaller uh, and so it's it's a pyramid and that is the very very basic structure of it uh, and so i like building it up with the cobbled limestone for right now uh, and then i go back through and i add in all the different mossy variants and stuff to add in the details and then for the actual like brick sections will actually make up all of the chiseled blocks for the tops and bottoms of the pillars and then the actual like cut limestone um, for the middle sections and i originally was trying to starting to alternate like adding in some of that like mossy regular limestone but i ended up on this one basically just doing entirely all cut limestone no mossiness on the like chiseled sections because I felt like that made it feel a little bit more official and then letting the like bricks be the mossy sections because there's maybe a little bit more stuff to grab onto for the moss. I don't know if that makes any sense, but and then of course the top is just kind of this like little toppings thingy there. And so this is ex exactly where we're going to have. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build up the basic structure and then I'll, I'll bring you back in once all the limestone and the kind of the stone bricks are done so I can kind of show you what I do on the middle section here since we are in conquest and there is a little bit more interest going on in terms of how depth of walls you can actually do uh, so let me go ahead and build up this and then we'll come back in and kind of take a look see at the next steps all right i got all of the walls and stuff done chick, 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 chicken i haven't looked at you up close you look you're yeah, that's a nice texture i like your model I like your texture man you you looking fine but uh, we're going to be working on the walls now. So what I want to do is make this mossy limestone cobble vertical slab. This is really the only like 
conquesty way of doing i guess the top part has some conquesty stuff going on as well horse get out of my face your eyes are creepy oh my god you demon um so this is what the base structure is it's it's very very simple it's nothing really to write home about you've got your general box shape that you can see kind of like the general shape of it it was just a square and i just made the square out of, of cobblestone and then put the bricks on top so you really just start with a like a what was it a seven by seven square on the bottom and then you go in by one and so diagonally up then you have like a five by five and then a three by three but for these slabs let me remember if i how i did this do i start with the full base yes indeedy i do now i was a slight dingus and forgot we're gonna do mossy on all sides so we'll just grab four of these so you start with a full block on the bottom and boy howdy i am getting warm one moment i gotta take my jacket off all right as i was saying now that i'm not cooking my life start with a full block on the bottom and then it's actually pretty straightforward we just go one two three and that makes for half of the block so you we're just doing vertical slabs is all we're doing which yes i know that sounds like hypocrisy i'm sorry but that's just kind of that's what we're doing it's conquest we can do that see and you get this like nice little gradient up and so uh this is the thing that i wanted i wanted these to be almost like staircases that if you like you needed to you could get up this in a uh it would be a bit of a challenge in real life but in minecraft it's just a simple jump and it's really nice i i dig the fact that it's just simply a simple jump and so then we're just kind of alternating back and forth between full block, half slab, full block, half slab. And uh, we're also alternating between mossy and regular. And so maybe mixing it up a little bit, putting a little bit of mossy there, a little bit of regular here, and then boom, look, we're already like getting to the top. And the uh, very last one, you will have the chiseled block on top and you'll be right here. And so all the sides will come up to a nice little point and uh, we'll be leaving the top open because uh, we have like a little bit of a upper hole area for, I don't know, ventilation and stuff. For that one, it made sense more because there's a campfire in the middle, so it needed a smoke airway uh, for this one. And that one, not as much sense. I guess there's brassiers in it, so maybe that makes sense. But this is what the final side kind of looks like. So it's just going up every block doing block half slab block half slab block half slab all the way up and then you reach the very top and then uh, the chisel blocks are on top and that is where the uh, end thing actually the block below that is where the like half slab ends and so i'm going to do that on all these sides and we'll continue building okay this next part is a little more uh it's more just tedious to do more than anything i'm gonna bring our stone cutter right here so i don't have to like deal with running around too much uh so just briefly the front um what we've got here is it's very simple um this actually i initially built it wrong uh, i forgot the front i made actually a five wide area so you can have this like small three by three entrance area so the front is slightly different so it is a little bit bigger uh, than the sides here but nothing too crazy um, and then again, it's just going up block, half slab block. Uh, but then on this layer, there is a the like a vertical quarters or vertical like a corner core. I don't remember what they're called, but you place a couple of those to get to the same half slab size. So you, you've got a quarter slab essentially. And then even further on top of that is then this, which we're going to be swapping out for the pumpkin that we've been putting in. And that's a di even a different face than the others. And then we've got these little ramps and then the top piece there that I think so far, I think I'm liking this. So they're all nice and thematic now with the fronts. And the faces are a little bit the same. I like that face because he's kind of like, oh, I'm stuffed full of stuff. I like it. And so now we're going to be working on the top portion. And this is where uh, it's uh, like I said. Oh, wait, no, I, I forgot. You, you don't need to pillar up. <laughs> I forget that uh, you can just go to the sides here and use these as actual stairs as they're meant to be uh, used for. So. Um, the top is actually pretty simple. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to place these two. Uh, I forget what these are called. 
limestone brick capitals. Um, and then we're going to place two right here. And then all I do usually is I try to alternate the mossy and the regular. Uh, these are pillars. And so you do one, two, and then uh, we'll do a uh, mossy here, I think. And then these guys can be like, uh, ooh, let's do some mossy here as well. And then one more layer on these will be you got to hold shift when you're doing this. So this is where it gets a little bit kind of wacky. Uh, you have to like hold shift when you're putting it on and then you can kind of click on the sides there and we'll do some mossy there and like so and like so boom baby uh, so we got the capital and then we've got two pillars going up and uh, now this is actually where it gets a little bit kind of annoying because we have to make kind of this uh, square here and I find it's just easier to kind of do the square like this, except for when you have that happen where there we go. And like that, because we're going to be doing this uh, to where we place capitals on the top here, too. But they're upside down. Um, and so we're going to be doing that. But this is why it gets a, it's a little tedious, I suppose. It's not too bad, but it's just kind of annoying. And then we'll go ahead and come on top here. And we'll get rid of everything except for that middle block because we'll use it to place our thatch. Now for thatch, I use a variety of yellow thatch, mossy yellow thatch, dark yellow thatch, and mossy dark yellow thatch. Mainly because they're the two that kind of blend the easiest and, and most nice. Um, and so all we do here is place actual full blocks like this. And then the rest is all kind of based on because this is so small, it's all layers. There's not really much else going on. Um, and so even the center block here is actually, I believe I've made it on each one of these. I've actually made a stripped oak log um, going sideways. And uh, that's because the pillar that comes down at the center that holds a brazier on each of them is uh held by like a wooden column and so i wanted it to be like the same texture it also matches almost perfectly with the thatch color so it looks pretty good uh but this is where the stone cutter comes into play and this is kind of where you start if you mess up placing things this is where you start losing blocks uh pretty quickly um so you want to be pretty on top of placing it now where did all my bricks go so it's um it's not really that difficult to do it's just what i found when working with these what are these called the quarter slabs uh you lose a lot of blocks if you accidentally like place one kind of wrong you essentially any like if you place say like for this we're gonna place maybe that many i'd say um so if you place say right here we want to have one two three but say you actually wanted two well when you break this you place down three but when you break it you only get one back so it's pretty annoying in that sense to where you end up losing quite a bit so this is what i normally do here is uh, i will be placing three on the center and then two on the side so then you get like a you still get a nice slope but it's a little bit less, uh, a li just a little tiny slope. And this, I think we can come up one more. All right, now the last kind of stuff that we have to do, more odds and ends than anything, we want to make some of these oak wood beam vertical. They look like these kind of like supporting structures. How many are we going to need? Eight? I think we're going to need eight, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I believe so. And then the rest of this is, it's honestly pretty straightforward. It's nothing too particularly crazy. Um, what you do is you just get on up here and then you're going to slap this guy right there. And then we want to use these wood beam pillars. Now, these, I think what we're going to do is you do that. So you do three and then it's kind of annoying because you have to, you got to do this. And then you got to do this and like that. And then, oh, we're going to need one more. Golly darn it. 
rinse and repeat people rinse and repeat so we just want it coming down like that so it's like a, it comes down to a little bit of a point a brazier will hang right from that actually let's go ahead and put the brazier there it gives us a little bit of light and there we go look how beautiful that is isn't that gorgeous so for these because they're pretty small what i've been doing is kind of this weird little pattern here where it's kind of like got a supporting structure and then this kind of comes off of it and uh primary reason for that is because i like to hang little flower pots uh that are like hanging flowers on them you don't necessarily have to do that you can add whatever you want you can add brassiers to this section but the main thing is that there's like this little support thing and you kind of flip through the different alterations of them to where they have this little bottom portion and uh, then you're pretty good and there you have it that is how i have been going through and building these particular builds they're not very hard they're not nothing too crazy it's just using a little bit of conquest blocks but primarily horse you're getting in my shot my dude what are you doing but they're primarily using vanilla blocks with a little bit of conquest flair that's kind of how i've been trying to approach most of the building in this is just taking the, uh, the the little things of conquest and adding it on to minecraft rather than trying to like go full ham onto it um so the next thing that i would do uh to finish this out is just add the little details i like planting some uh, wheat and stuff on top and then the last thing that i would do is just wherever there's moss on the top i add a little bit of grass which you make from seeds in this using the stone cutter and you can place it on any block then so let me go ahead and get to doing that creating a little bit more of a proper pathway between these guys and finishing out the cliffside here so it's not just a, a straight up box sticking out but i mean maybe we like the box no i don't like the box i want it to be a nice nice natural looking cliff so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this out and we'll be back in for the final reveal well i am uh we got the enchanting room done it's nice and done up there and uh, what i'm doing now is i want to find a villager that doesn't have a profession or anything isn't a nincompoop and unless they're all dead oh my gosh we got it i just needed two freaking lecterns that's sick all right let's do it mending this boy is locked in nice i am so happy you have blast protection so we're gonna get rid of you and just re-roll you see if we can get you to be a decent thing oh man am i excited yes what do you want fire protection one absolutely not oh girl okay you're mending boy you are you still silk touch yeah silk touch okay awesome silk touch and mending my gosh that's awesome i'm so thrilled that we got that but now the very last thing before showing the final reveal of that place over there I'm going to hunt down, get to level 30 so we can do just like a regular old level 30 enchant. You can see I've already got the tools ready to go. I think this is going to be our silk touch mending pick since it's perfectly brand new. Actually, we may put mending on this guy since it's broken. Um, and then we definitely are going to need to sort out a mob farm of some sort so that we can mend our tools super easily all right y'all the time has come we are level 30 let's do some enchanting so i haven't finished the roadway for this quite yet i let the grass grow and i started experimenting with what i want the road to be potentially um but i know over uh at the uh, house area we were using gravel like this rocky gravel and i really like the texture and i think i'm gonna use that for a lot of the roads i just don't have a lot of gravel so um since i'm still trying to kind of grow grass right now um and i still need to like connect it up to this area over here uh, i'm just gonna let it be grass for now um and then we'll sort out the actual path design later but now looky looky it's all done got some grass got some nice flowers got a little hulk and then we get on in here and it's honestly it's not really that special it's pretty simple interior here 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that guy there so we have matching anvils on the sides. And then just some braziers hanging down with a brazier all the way up there. And then our actual enchanting, which is great. Level 30 unbreaking three is what we're going to be getting. Um, and I'm curious to see. I think it'll be unbreaking for this as well. Yeah. Curious to see if we get anything else. Let's try it. Oh, fortune three. Let's see. Okay. How much is this going to cost to make this guy? Okay. Is there no? Okay. There's a tiny little little indication that it's enchanted okay so silk touch is going to cost four i think we do it and uh, then we'll go ahead and put mending on this guy yes oh i guess that that anvil was quite used yes oh guys 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 we have fortune and silk touch already out of the gate that's sick wow okay that is exciting i'm in, i'm very very excited about that that's super cool um so yeah this is the enchanting area uh didn't really try to go too overboard with this it doesn't need to be crazy overboard um and and so this is a good beginning area uh, i did find this little book and quill there's nothing written in it um but that could be something if you guys have anything that you think could go in here like a little bit of a lore excerpt or if you want to do like question of the day or something and y'all would act would participate in it um then we could definitely do that or something like that that could be kind of fun but that is where i think we're gonna have to leave it off today because uh yeah we've done quite a bit and now that we have some good picks i can get down into the mines and start getting buko re buko buku resources but y'all i think that's gonna be where we call it for today and i hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about how i went about building this build really pretty simple and hopefully that is useful knowledge to you if you're playing conquest i think the if there's anything i've learned building these various things it's that you want to i think play the game like normal vanilla minecraft and treat a lot of the conquest stuff as kind of additional add-ons that you can do once you've kind of established the general build if that makes sense like we started with the base main bay blocky base and then we added in a couple little bit of layer things and detail things that normal minecraft doesn't have i think that's a really good way to approach it especially if you're new to conquest and that's how i'm approaching it and uh yeah, I, ho I hope you guys have enjoyed. Super thrilled with the pickaxes that we got. We have some very, very good ones now. And so I'm super excited about that. Next episode, maybe we'll try and work on a little bit of a mob farm or something. I need to find a skeleton spawner or something like that. This uh, The world is so much bigger in this uh, terraforged world that it's kind of difficult to find cave spawners and stuff. But I'll try and find one maybe and uh, we can try and get a little bit of XP going. But with that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Brewery. Bye-bye. Uh,